Okay, so I had to get up really early today, well, earlier than usual. I had to get up at about 8 o'clock in the morning because there's a training thing that I have to do today in Richmond, which is about um, 40 minutes from my house. And well, I'm here, and then I got all these, you know, lighting equipment in the back. I don't want it to get stolen, so I'm putting them in my truck. Lights, and then the chairs. But anyway, it's a training for hazardous materials, which I do, you know, for my job. I take care of hazmats, and you have to get recertified every year. And usually it's at our building, which is right down the street from my house. But for some reason this year they wanted it to be here. So I have to walk all the way over to that building. And I don't think they'll let me bring my camera in. So you guys get to wait in the car for me to come back. Which for you will seem instant. But for me, it'll take five hours. So see you then. Bye. So my training is done. I spent about six hours rather than four. It's a little bit longer than anticipated. So it's like 3.30 now. And uh, driving back home again. Because I don't have to go to work tonight, which I normally do. But since I did this in the morning, I don't have to work this evening at work. And look where I went. A and W. Because I didn't realize there was one right here. But I guess there is in Richmond. Um, but it's not as good as the other one. Not as good. So there's traffic. There we go. Driving home. Maybe, maybe something arrived in the mail today. I've been waiting three months for it, and we'll see if it's in the mail today. I think it might be. I don't know for sure, but whoa, I need to move over. All right, so I just got home a little while ago. Uh, checked the mailbox. I was all excited because I thought I'd be here today, and then I looked in there, and it was empty. So I came inside, and I said, hey, did the mail come yet? And they said, yes, I already got it. Anything come for me? No. <sighs> Dang it. So I went on to Reddit, just looking up some stuff, and then heard the uh, the doorbell ring and a knock on the door. So I was like, hmm, what's that? So I went over there, and it was not the regular mail truck, but the big mail truck that actually makes deliveries, and they had a package for me. So I signed for it, and there it is. And it's got some Japanese writing on it, or Chinese or something. Hong Konganese. I don't know. But anyway, I think this is what I think it is. Because, I mean, I wouldn't think it's something other than what I think it is. I need to get a way to hold this up so I can open it. I could try it with one hand. That's really difficult. Ah. First thing I see, caution. Let's get this tape off of here. It's really hard to do this with one hand. Nah. Well, I'll get the bubble wrap off. Okay, so here's what you get out of all the packaging. You have a Wicked Lasers case, that's the glasses. This right here is the battery and charger. Spider Arctic Spider Series. So let's see what's inside of this. Open it up, you get world's most powerful portable laser. Uh, just directions how to use it. How to use their smart switch laser sticker. And here is the Arctic. 
wrapped in plastic. Look how big that is. Bottom's open, it slides out. There it is. Spider 3 Arctic Wicked Lasers. This took three months to get from when I ordered it in June till now. It's cool though. Looks nice. And I got this cap and then this other cap. Two caps come with it. So, yeah. Cool. Don't match the other way so it doesn't climb up as fast. Can you still see what to play? Yeah. So it's your birthday today? Tomorrow, yeah. actually, tomorrow. Chocolate, we got. No brownies instead of cake. Brownies instead of cake. And presents. Only two. Well, one of them is only like three hundred dollars. Wow. Is it a lens? Yes. This one. Probably. Well. Open this one first, then. Well, it might be that one. Lenses don't come in boxes like that. If it's a prime, it's gonna be that big. What? <laughs> Guess what this one is. I don't know what that one would be. Is this the thing we just bought today? Guess what it is. Shirts. Open it. Not know. You said you eat brownies while opening presents. They're not here yet. What? Yes. Yes, that's your. Huh? I used to stop. No. Oh, look, it's shirts. You were right. And I bought with my own money. Well, no, I didn't. Money that you owed me. Right. <laughs> and this one. Mm. What do you think this one is? 1.4 millimeter lens. <laughs> you can go all that without opening it. <laughs> Cool. And it's a USM too. What's USM? It means when it focuses, it doesn't go. It just oh, goes, it's quiet. It just focuses really fast mm, and okay. quietly. That's why, because the one point eight was all the super loud. It's all. Like, <laughs> yeah. Which is why they said this one's a lot better than the one point eight for a lot of reasons. Mm. So pretty and not melted. <laughs> so it does have a little bit of zoom. Doesn't it? No, that's just focus. Mm -hmm. No zoom. Nope. Cool. That doesn't really help hmm? you see what it looks like. I could go like this though. It doesn't it's not focused though. <laughs> it's zoomed in. Oops. Let's turn it off. I should take a picture of me flipping. It's it. not even in focus at all. That's cool though. It's like I'm, the flip is, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. I like that. The battery has charged for my Arctic, which is right here. And I will show you the procedure how to... Uh, actually turn it on with the smart switch. So batteries installed with the negative side first so the positive side is towards the back of the laser. Screw the end cap on, push this button that will power it and you can see the first battery light is flashing. 
and the smart switch light is lit up. So what you do is you hit it one time quickly, second light, one time quickly again, third light, and then a third time quickly. Press and hold for about this long. One, two. Now it's in low power pulsed mode. Press the button quickly. It goes into continuous low power. Press the button quickly again. It goes back to flash. Press and hold. Let go. Now it goes into high power. Flash. Press one time. Now it's in high power constant. Press and hold three seconds. It goes back into standby mode. 